I'm Andre Alexandrescu. I work as a research scientist for Facebook in Palo Alto, California. And I'm here to talk uh, very excitingly about uh, my new book, The Deep Programming Language. The Deep Programming Language is uh, an introduction for uh, the homonym uh, language. Uh, this derived from C++, however, it has uh, gone above and beyond uh, C++'s uh, uh, charter. Uh, so I wrote the book to address all programmers coming from all other languages, uh, be they uh, Ruby, PHP, C++ itself, C Sharp, Java. Uh, any programmer who is going to uh, read this book is going to uh, be able to uh, use it effectively. What makes the Deep Programming Language book unique? Uh, I think the book is very strongly linked to the language itself, so probably the question is the same about, uh, goes the same about the language itself. I believe that D is a very strong language, it's a very compelling language. Uh, nowadays we're facing uh, in the software industry uh, a crisis. Uh, there's uh, the concurrency revolution and the languages are not, are not properly prepared for it. Uh, there's also the, uh, the limitation of serial, uh, serial frequency, speed. So programs are going to uh, need to become efficient again. Taking a vacation is not going to be anymore an option for improving the speed of your program. You'll have to actually work, uh, which is sort of ironic. So um, D is unique because it is modern. It is prepared for concurrency. It, is, uh, it makes it easy to write correct programs. It makes it simple to under read and understand programs. It is precise. It is expressive and it allows creating large programs out of individual independent modules. I wrote the deep programming language intently by copying uh, the perfect book, the C programming language by Kerning and Ricci. Uh, copying, however, of course, was with uh, some uh, hopefully improvements that I was able to add. I took control of the entire editing process. Uh, the, internal, the interior design of the book is extremely clean. The code samples are, are um, uh, use code highlighting for um, evidentiating the keywords and the strings and the constants. Um, at the end of every chapter, there's a cheat sheet such that people who have already read the book and want to use D uh, can quickly open the book and uh, essentially just look over the, 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 you know, the quick references. And essentially, I wrote the book in a way that is at the same time pleasant, precise, and uh, highly readable. There are three things about the deep programming language that uh, make me very excited about it. One is it's extremely precise. Uh, I have done my very best to write the text in a, such a concise manner uh, and at the same time precise, such as to leave a little too, um, uh, too hazard, to haphazard, or to, uh, to interpretation by, by uh, the reader. The second thing that makes me very excited is that the book um, is fun to read. I have had a lot of uh, feedback from, from readers who have said it's, it's quite nice that uh, I can actually read this book uh, and not leave it from hand. It's not a boring, uh, it's not a, a boring uh, book, although the, you know, the topic itself could be easily be made boring. Um, so I, I try to insert uh, just the appropriate um, salt and pepper in there, a bit of humor, a bit of anecdotes, um, uh, such that uh, reading is, is enjoyable. The third thing I'm excited about is that the book is, uh, is in a way the definition of the language itself. I wrote the book in using LaTeX, which is a text-based package for, for creating a beautiful typography. But at the same time, the source of the book is also um, laced with very many uh, examples that confirm the text and that I test continuously against the, the current compiler such that the examples in the book actually describe the language proper. There are also hidden examples that you don't see in the book that verify statements made in the text. This way, essentially, the book and the language have grown together and will, will continue to grow together in future editions. Uh, 
my belief is that the best way to start with uh, the deep programming language is to first read the first chapter thoroughly. Just only in the Kerning and Ritchie classic, the first chapter is a thorough, uh, is a less thorough but a very broad introduction of the language. The language style, the style in which you write programs, uh, everything is explored but without too much, uh, to, without stopping too much on every detail. The, the next chapters are going to probe in depth every uh, single aspect of the language. So I recommend reading carefully the first chapter and getting a good idea of the overall language and then reading the other chapters as you find fit or as you see as you are looking for more information. Also, I strongly suggest you use the index. Uh, in many books, the index is sort of le the, sort of a last minute uh, thing left to, uh, to an index professional who is not a programming professional. However, I built the index myself and I, I wrote it uh, for programs like you. The idea being that you, if, you, if you're looking for a concept such as garbage collection, you're going to actually look uh, at it, you're going to find it in the index, and you're going to find pages that are related to garbage collection, even though they don't mention the actual words. So peruse the index, I think it is very valuable. Um, third, again, don't forget the cheat sheets at the end of each chapter. Uh, we have uh, a cheat sheet for uh, statements, one for expressions, order evaluation, uh, pretty much uh, every important aspect of the language is, is going to be covered in a table. So I strongly suggest as you use the language to uh, simply, when you want to remember the syntax, uh, the, quickly the syntax for a specific statement or expression, uh, just use those tables. Um, last but not least, uh, there are a few figures in the book that uh, I, I believe are informative and are going to help a lot memorizing and, uh, and understanding um, various as aspects of the language. This is Andre Alexandrescu. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to check my book, The Deep Programming Language. You can find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Informit and essentially all uh, booksellers uh, sites. But uh, you may want to go to my website, erdani.com, and you'll find a link to a comparison site where you can find the best deal for it.